Hey students, welcome to another episode and in this episode we are dealing with a summer internship project report formatting. We have seen lots of episodes and they are directly jumping into the content but what about the basic alignments, margin, fonts and line spacing as well. So in this episode we are going to dig in a basics of how you can format your project report step by step. Let's jump in to the formatting. For formatting the project reports, you will get the, the guidelines from the institute guide. And here are the basics we need to follow first. So we'll directly jump in to the basic formatting guidelines and we are going to demonstrate to you all the steps in Microsoft Word. So fonts will be Times New Roman, then we have font size, chapter heading will be 16, para heading will be 14, then text will be 12. Line spacing will be 1.5, the margin all sides 1 inch, then printing will be both sides back to back. For the draft copy, it will be a spiral one and the final copy will be a black book. So that's it uh, for formatting details. But as you can clearly see, these lines will take lot of efforts if you are not setting it up at the start. So let's jump in to the Microsoft Word. We will start with the blank document file over here and first and foremost we need to we need to search for the layout tab and in the layout tab you will find different options first and foremost thing you need to go for the page size and in the page size you need to select a4 in most of the older versions as well the newer versions are set letters as a default page size so that gives a big issue when you are going for direct printing. So size must be selected on the first hand. The second one is the margin. We are going for margins and right now as you can clearly see for the normal one inch is for all side. So you need to select for the normal. If the normal is not there, you can create one by just simply clicking on the custom margins. So we will have a lots of parameters over here and the most important are top, bottom, left and right. So one inch means 2.54 centimeters. So that's it for us. Uh, we'll just click OK. In case there are different digits, you can edit it as per your convenience. So this was page size and page margin. Now it's time to select the font family. As per our guidelines, the font family is only one font and that is Times New Roman. So let's jump in how you can change the font family. We have design tab over here and in design tab, we have the font families. If the font family is there, we will definitely get it, but I failed to get the font family here. So we will just jump into the customized family and here we are directly typing Times New Roman, I'm going to select it for the heading as well for the body font and it will definitely give you a font layout over here. What's changing? Let me show you. Here the by default font is changed to Times New Roman now. And you will definitely get each and every font in Times New Roman only. So that will be a big advantage by selecting the font family before starting putting content in, into this document. And moving further, we also have a line spacing declaration. So for the line spacing, you just need to click on this icon while in the home tab. 
just beside the alignment you have that and now you need to click on this 1.5 so that will be aligning for normal let's move into the guidelines files once again so we have completed our font family then line spacing then margin and the page size and right now we need to give the heading 1 16 heading to 14 and the normal body text 12 so font size is the next agenda so we are going to create our own style right now because we need to have a body of text and uh, we need to click on modify after clicking on modify you need to have this normal body of text and here it is 11 you need to click on 12 you can use justified here for a cleaner look most of my students are beating bit confused how to get the justified in the automated sense so here is the key you just need to click on this icon over here which is for justified alignment and this is for line spacing this is uh, more than enough and now we need to press ok button so as you can clearly see we have body of text so whenever you are you are grabbing some data into this document you need to click select the text and click on this icon let me demonstrate you within few few minutes uh, first and foremost we need to go to the heading which need to be have a uh, 16 font yes we got it 16 over here so here we need a spacing but the color is blue so in case of blue you can try different colors as well so I am not playing with it right now but uh, you definitely need to uh, if you want you can give any customized look this was for heading 1 and then for para heading we have heading 2 let's check the font over here now it's 13 we need 14 so the 14 and then we have line spacing you can clearly see the details over here so line spacing is 1.5 which is totally recommended and then we have uh, 14 font size times new roman so let's click ok so the major benefit here is like we will have all our content within a click and the major advantage here is you will get your table of content with the ease how we will see in the next episode so we have also covered our this condition of formatting and uh, after that we have printing back to back uh, just need to visit this file option over here then print and now here we can see the option of print both sides flip pages on the long edge which is the usual uh, way to pr print uh, on the both sides so that is default uh, selected so we need to we, we are we are pressing s and then there is a draft copy and a spiral copy the draft draft copy will be in the spiral mode and uh, final copy will be in the black book these were instructions from a specific university or a specific management institute if the guidelines suggest different fonts or different font sizes or margins you need to follow the same steps what we have discussed right now and i think that was quite elaborative to start your project report file and uh, we will definitely come with uh, how to create a table of content how to insert the page numbers and all the details uh, in the upcoming episodes so please stay tuned with us uh, thanks for watching this is 
प्रोफेसर विश्वजीत गाय के साइनिंग ऑफ थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग